What is your thoughts about homosexuality? Well, first of all, we ask ourselves what is this manis, so called gayism. Gayism is not our culture. Gayism originated from Western culture. That's the US and the European Country. countries. According to me, or Africa, my stand is I got a sister, I need to marry her because she is my opposite sex. And because she is my opposite sex, now I need to marry her for procreation reasons. Mm -hmm. We reproduce. As from the day one of the creation, God the Father of eternity, He created Adam, literal Eve. He found it was more better for a man to procreate. If he needed us now to engage in this so-called uh, homosexual, then he could have created two men. It's not uh, uh, binds to the African stand at all. Mm. Africans, we are condemning that thing in a high spirit. We are not for it. And even right now, what we are urging the government is to tame this thing before it spread and pollute the culture and our morals because it is not our stand. Second, secondly, you can just imagine if you entertain this thing, what kind of society we are going to have. We have the boarding school for ladies. We have the college school for the men. If we entertain, then we are going to have a rotten society whereby even the country will lack people with integrity whom can also be trusted for this country. Because one, if you pollute someone's brain psychologically, and you show now, it's not about this, doing the norm. We can dive it and engage in others. In fact, we are also inviting other things to our country, which even God is not going to be happy with us. So, to me, as an African who believe in, in, in a, a, an opposite sex relationship, we are going to, to go against it. And in fact, if we can even manage to get MPs, the legislators who, who goes in the house to prepare bills, we would also give as our view, we want it to be in our constitution. <laughs> no legalizing the issue of gay in Kenya. And if possible, if we get to even have one passing over here, we know how to act. <laughs> and we can act. And we can act Kabisa and make sure that he teaches other gays a lesson. Because Kenya, we put it a big X. We don't want it. <coughs> okay, from my side, from my view, gays in the. Gays in the not a, It's an abomination in our society. Yeah. If we are going to accept those things in Africa or in our institutions because we know they have come. Here in Kenya, I know in, in, in Western Kenya, there is a church <coughs> that is entertaining those taboos. But if it is going to happen, or if they are going to, 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 to continue with the same spirits in Kenya, then we have uh, actions uh, which we, we can take for them. Because our institutions will never go well with those things. We know that they are coming with uh, NGOs. They will come with a very big gift to, 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 our, to our institutions. But we can digest it in a, in a well manner that we can. We can make them to go out of our country. Uh, in my community where I come from, if you, you will be found with the same case, you will be discommunicated from the community. Totally. Even your, even your spirit, they will never uh, uh, accept to hear where it, where it will go. But if you will be found with the same, with the same case, I don't think that you will be given a, a, a time to speak in our community. <coughs> we condemn it in a highly manner. Yeah. Okay. Oh, thank you. I condemn gazing and in public institutions, efforts should be made to curtail publicity of gazing. In fact, it has been shown that in our society, such publicity in the media 
Ninja's morality. In fact, I guarantee you, out of statistics, majority are anti-gazing, are of anti-gazing. And the orientation is a straight orientation. How will our society ensure procreation and sustain itself if homosexuality and gayism is supported? On the other hand, yes, I believe that human rights and freedoms require to be uh, adhered to. However, such should not be promoted in public institutions, whereby favorism or being given opportunity to injure public morality is supported. And we know the effects of gazing, and you know where it emerges from. Gazing has been shown to emerge from Western influence, Western culture, emerging from say Europe media, and America. Yeah, all those. And above all, gazing is uncouth, it's sick to the public. <coughs> Wait, what is the Can I add something? Yes. Yeah. Uh, like for me now, I think, I, I, I even wish if we had once confirmed these are gay, number one, we'll stigmatize them. Because we do not value, we don't even see yeah. any, any context of value in them. We stigmatize them, they cannot share what we have. We cannot even allow them in our hospitals because they are going also to affect. Mm -hmm. You can imagine they can start now harassing the patient inside there. Mm -hmm. We cannot even, we even we will want the government to, to let them assess any fund. Mm -hmm. And even those institutions, the NGOs that have been given certificates, mm -hmm. right? To run those nonsense, we want the government to revoke those documents. Three. If we get to know though the human rights or the corridor that allows these people to penetrate in our country, we can even burn their offices exactly. because it's not part of us. Yeah. You can just imagine, you are, you are a parent, you raise two kids, maybe a girl and a boy, and you have invested in them, you paid for their, their school fees and what have you, and then later on, you come to realize, oh, your daughter is a lesbianism, how can you feel? Oh, your son is a homosexual. Uh, practitioner, how can you feel? These people need to finish them. Even in, in our own mother tongue, we say, Muti mudogo unatungwa ungali msanga. Kama anakuwa mkubwa, awezi tekeleza iyo miti. Samaki mkunja Now, but this time when the gayism is trying now to, to bear roots, is the highest time we cut it off. So that even that spirit, we can dip it in the Indian Ocean so that it can never be hovering around. We condemn it in a higher spirit. We are not for gay. We are not for gay, man. We are not for gay. Exactly. These are Christian states. We fear God more than a man, more than the, the superpowers. God first, the rest follows gazing no period Question. i'm asking <coughs> if my father was not going to marry my mother where have i been sure if we are going to continue <coughs> those spirits where is our population will go we don't need to be like the whites if you need to to manage your population the way you need population agenda you do for for our side we need to procreate and we need to be many yes. sure yeah we know there is a case that you came with uh they, they came with uh, uh the vaccines vaccines for 14 years yeah. to 21 that the, one was to manage women from not be able to conceive. We know. But we, we are ready to we, give we, 10 kids because it is our right, the we, biblical right. We see huh? you as you are, you, are, you are coming, and we have your solutions. Here in Africa, we don't know the thing, those, those Well, solutions. I would like to add something also. Yeah. I feel such is the dilemma where, while positive effects of Western influence, such as adherence to human rights, come up. <coughs> On one hand, we have positive uh, pressure such as human rights. On the other hand, we have other pressures to adhere to LGBT rights, which we feel in our society 
is injurious in the first place why should it be promoted in the public domain in the media such is what I would recommend or we would recommend to our government can we be free from adopting policies that are going to support gazing for the purpose of protection of society purpose of protection of procreation and sustaining humanity there is a abominable man in uh, I don't know which country but I know it is from uh, the European a prime minister I don't know which country but we had the last time that he's uh, having a wife the same same man that guy if there is somebody that will inform him, we don't need him in Kenya. And if we, we know that our government will allow that man to come in Kenya, then we will riot. Yeah, we don't know those things. Those are nonsenses. If homosexuality is promoted, institutions whereby, in the first place, conjugal rights are denied, such as corrective institutions, for example, jails and prisons. It means that it will defy the same reason that conjugal rights were denied, if it is for the purpose of correction. <coughs> so, gazing does not make sense. And its support is actually undoing. Naturally, show me, or, or let's have a discussion or find out if it is natural for same-sex relationships to take place. It is not natural. So, and previously, unnatural acts have been termed such as gazing, being unnatural. Yes. Uh, one more. I want now to take you also to something else. When you go to our constitution, it does not organize the right of gay. Because that one is a behavior you adapt from somewhere else. It is not nature. If one can be born as a gay, we can have that human understanding. But this one, there's no way it applies. Number two, I want to warn the international community. Kenya, Africa is our swell. We will dare not welcome those nonsense to come here. And if we get to know, even where my friend has talked about, <coughs> there is a certain country, <coughs> the leader <coughs> and the high profile leader, is a pro a prime minister. who is coming to Kenya, <coughs> we are going to riot. We will demand closure of that. And we, we are going to demand the closure of that embassy. <coughs> right? Okay, sir, we are demanding the closure of that embassy because if we continue inviting such, those are enemies more than the Al Shabaab we are fighting now. And I believe now we, the government has the hard task to fight three, three enemies. enemies number one, the drug traffickers, number two.